Hello and welcome to Paper Crafting with Rebecca. I'm Rebecca. Today I thought we would make a scrapbook page with the focus being on using glitter products out of my stash. If you are new to my channel, welcome. If you are already subscribed to my channel, welcome back. And you will probably already know that I am on a self-imposed spending freeze for 2022 when it comes to craft supplies, which means that I have to shop my stash for the entire year. To help organize my thoughts, I have given each month of 2022 a theme, and my theme for January this year is glitter and glittery products. So for today's scrapbook page, I'll be using glitter inks and glitter tapes, some of which I've had for some time sitting there waiting to be used. Today's page is loosely scrap lifted from a page that my friend Lori from Cook Scrap Craft created. I will link her video below, and if you've never visited her channel, be sure to pop over and check it out. She is an amazing scrapbooker. So how I'm starting it is by putting some of the blue glitter ink out onto just a piece of scrap packaging. I could have put it straight on my glass mat. It wouldn't have hurt anything, but it's just easier cleanup if you use a piece of packaging. As usual, I got it all over my fingers. I do not know why I cannot keep glitter inks off my fingers when I work with them. It's just, I'm a magnet to the stuff. So I've stained my skin once again with glitter ink. Now one of the keys to using this glitter ink is to be sure to swirl it enough that you've got all the glitter mixed into it so that when you look at the bottom you don't see any sitting on the bottom. Okay so I've got the blue, I've added some red there. That red is again a really powerful red and I want this to be a little bit softer. I don't want this to be like red and blue really hard. So I'm going to go ahead, if I can keep the ink off my fingers long enough, and put some of the clear glitter ink in there and dilute it down a little bit. Not that one. Find the clear one. There it is. Alright, so there's my nice clear eyedropper and I'm just diluting the red and the blue down a little bit. Then I'm going to kind of mix them together. Not real mixed. I want them to still have some blues and some reds on the edges, but I also kind of want a purple in there too. But that is still really strong, I've decided. So I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more clear and dilute it down. And dilute it down a little bit more. Lost my voice there for a minute. Okay, so I'm adding a little bit more of the clear. And I didn't realize I had gotten some of the red on my eyedropper. So not to panic, just go in and suck out the red before it has a chance to mix in. That's what I'm doing there. That way I don't have any contaminated and end up with a bottle of pink. Okay, so it's all right. So I've got that clear in there to try to dilute that red and blue down. Looking for something to mix it with, so just grab any old tool. <laughs> there we go. And again, I'm not trying to mix it real well. I just kind of want to marble it in there. And it's hard to see on film, but it is just actually marbled. And I have a piece of kind of waxy tissue paper that I use. Um, because it's inexpensive and it's easy to crumple up and get that crumpled effect. And I'm just kind of blotting that around on a piece of 8.5 by 11 white cardstock. This is, um, this scrapbook this whole year I've done for her is a 8.5 uh, by 11. This goes in my granddaughter's scrapbook. And the glitter's not showing up real well on camera, but that is very glittery and very beautiful. And it looks a little bit muddy on the film, but in uh, real life it really doesn't look muddy. Now cleanup is pretty easy. I just have to throw that away and go wash my hands. Okay, I have a piece of cardstock left over that had the alcohol inks on it um, look. So I decided that's what I'm going to go with to use on my scrapbook page. So I need to stick that strip down. And I'm just using a double-sided adhesive because that way I know it will stick really well over the top of that glitter ink. Just in case there's any, you know, sometimes it's hard to stick things to glittery products. And I think that double-sided tape works really nice for that. So I'm going to just kind of put that piece across there. And this is a good time for me to tell you that any of the products you see me use, I am not sponsored by nor an affiliate of anybody. And so these are all just things I've bought myself and have in my stash. 
And I would encourage you to shop your stash. If you decide to make this scrapbook page, just use whatever you have in your stash and just use the general layout. Okay, I have a stamp there that I went ahead and just stamped some, some shapes on there, random shapes, starburst sort of things. Uh, that glitter tape I have is really old, and so the adhesive wasn't real sticky. So just to make sure, I just ran a little real thin line of glue, and then as I push the glitter tape down, the glue will you know, spread underneath the tape and hold that down. I just didn't trust the tape, because like I said, I've had that for some time sitting in my stash. Okay, but that's the whole point of this year, is using all these things I have looking at some different ribbons that I have and and I finally decided to use this real it's a thinner glittery white ribbon um, has glitter along the edges of it. it's really pretty and I don't remember where I bought it I'm gonna say either Michaels or maybe Dollar Tree or maybe at a book fair I don't know And again, I'm just using some double-sided adhesive to help hold the ribbon in place. And it doesn't show, so it's a nice thing. And I, since the, that's going into a book, I just fold the ribbon around the back. And I'm going to trim this picture down. I decided I didn't want to mat the picture because I just wanted to use the white mat. I mean, it would have been a piece of white paper that I'd matted it on anyway. And the, so I just trimmed it so that the white showed around the edges. And then I had these stickers that I decided to use. And at first I was going to, um, you know, put lowercase. And then I realized I did not have enough uh, <laughs> letters of the lowercase to write. Siblings is what I wanted to write because this is a picture of my granddaughter and my grandson. And uh, so I was going to put siblings in, except for the S, it was going to be in lowercase for the title and then I realized I don't have enough of those so luckily these stickers once you if you leave them on they stay on um, then you can't but you have like maybe five minutes to go and peel them back up so luckily I, I had done that got them back up before they stuck permanent on there so I'm just going to go ahead and put the word sibling on and I struggle with letters you know I watched Lori on her scrapbook page. She always just gets her letters on so nice and straight and and I always struggle with <laughs> getting my letters on straight but I keep trying. <laughs> okay so once I've gotten that on there then um, I just need to go ahead and figure out what kind of embellishments I want to use and I'm using I have all these stickers all the time from Dollar Tree so I'm always looking to use those and the colors on this particular bunch of puffy stickers matched, but I didn't like the, uh, but you couldn't see them real well. And there's a couple of stickers on here that I like. So now it's just a case of getting the photo stuck down and going ahead and doing a little bit of embellishment with the stickers. So that's what's going on here. And I'm sorry that it was down below, but all I'm doing is taking the backing off the, the uh, tape on the picture. Okay, so once I've got that down, then it's just a matter of going through and picking out which stickers I want to use. And I thought, well, they're together. And this is, so together was a good one to have. And I also wanted to kind of pull some of that light blue from her blue jeans out. Because the other blues on the glitter inks and everything are a little bit darker, but I wanted to pull my eye wanted to pull some of that blue from her denim out. And then I had these really neat just abstract um, sort of puffy stickers that are in the exact perfect colors for this. So I just started sticking them on there just to give some more interest and some more dimension. Sometimes I really struggle with figuring out what sort of embellishments I want to use on my scrapbook pages. But then I just remind myself that there is no perfect way to make a scrapbook page. It's just the focus should be on the picture and the journaling and I've left myself a little white corner down there you see to journal in and so that's where the focus is and it should just be something fun to put together. I went ahead and added some blue flat back pearls just to really have some pops of darker blue popped around there and that's pretty much the page 
it was a lot of fun to make. It was everything that I had that was glittery that I wanted to use today on there. And I appreciate you coming along and seeing how it was all put together. And I hope that you enjoy what you see. If you did, please give me a like and please come back to my channel again. Like I said, January, it's all about glitter. And next month, February, will be all about watercoloring. Happy paper crafting.